The land tenure system in Uganda is mainly under the Milo system while in urban areas, land is held under freehold or leasehold. But most land in Uganda is held under customer the tenure system where communities jointly own land. But so many land wrangles have been witnessed where land is communally owned or customary. Government is now set to issue 1 million land titles to communal or customary landowners. 1 million titles. We want to roll out actually to all districts to make sure that we interest land owners, especially the customary ones who do not have papers, to register their interests and get titles. The spokesperson of the Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Dennis Obo, says the process of registering communal or customary landowners is ongoing in three districts following a successful pilot project in Ikasese district. Under this program, which has started in uh, Jinja, Shema and Apache, just survey alone would cost 2.9 million minimum. But government has come into highly subsidized, make sure people get titles, giving priority to those where the joint ownership is. And for those who are registering, the cost is coming down to between 70,000 and 100,000. But where joint ownership is, we are actually what will happen is that they shall not, the fees shall be waived. We think that that is even going to complicate matters and is going to exclude uh, many members of society. For example, women. If somebody is registering land as customary land and registers it as an individual, it means that automatically now that land has been transformed from inclusive ownership to exclusive ownership. But Robo says the people of northern Uganda who had been scheduled to benefit first from the project rejected it. So in the north I think the issues of misinformation when they came up, the ministry decided to withdraw because communities had thought that government was coming in to grab land. The Center for Basic Research recently conducted a study dubbed large-scale land acquisitions and land governance in Uganda, implications for women's land rights. The research focused largely on land acquisitions in Imobende district by Kaweri Coffee Company, a German farm and Amuru district, where persistent land wrangles have seen residents accuse government of a plot to grab large chunks of their land in the guise of foreign investment. The community is saying, let government not facilitate land grabbing. Let government facilitate accountable acquisition. Let government first respect our rights as customary owners of this land. Indeed, the study showed that the government had illegally and forcefully evicted thousands of Ugandans. The processes of acquisition were actually fraught. They viewed government as a land grabber, uh, which has caused pain and suffering. The UPDF, they are the ones who evicted the people forcefully. Jingo Francis, NTV.